In labor news this Thursday, trade union leaders upping the ante in wake of terminations of 600 workers from the Sandals Royal Bahamian Resort in Cable Beach on Monday. Today, as unionists gathered at the BCPOU's hall for the Uni America's telecoms conference, Bahamas Electrical Workers Union President Paul Maynard, speaking as an affiliate of the National Trade Union Congress, said the hotel maintenance union's responsibility is to save jobs. The union's president's first objective is to keep his people employed. You got to do that. At all costs, you have to do that. And when you let 600 people go, go redundant, then I got arrested at the feet of the union president. Simple as that. Bernard Evans and myself was asked to get ourselves involved in the Sandals thing. Okay? We tried. All right? And I ain't even going to comment on it, but we tried. And it just reached a point that it shouldn't have been, re it shouldn't have, been it shouldn't have never arrived at. All right? The president of the union got to, as president, make sure that the company stays open so his employees are employed. Simple. Bahamas Hotel Catering and Allied Workers Union President Nicole Martin issued a call for government to address the matter directly with the owner of Sandals, Gordon Butch Stewart. She said more than those 600 employees are impacted by the move. And let them understand, 600 workers is by minimum 1,800 people affected. Minimum. Each person employed represent more than just themselves. You know, I really getting tired of everybody coming here and it's okay. Mr. Politician, you cannot minister to a hungry man. You cannot campaign to a hungry man. So if you say I must carry my angle side side, then you, you, Mr. Parliamentarian, want to be future parliament, um, parliamentarian. If I must carry mine, when you come to my door, I see no reason for you to leave yours there.